Hello, I'm called Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through the second part of the concept of time value of money. And uh, before I begin, I'm going to require you to subscribe, like, and comment probably after this video. So from a preview, we are having for we had a future value, and from the future value, I told you the future value of current cash flows at some time in future is got after compounding using an appropriate compounding rate. And from that, we had a formula where but we had FV is equal to PV, and we had this, which, which was our compound factor. So, taking you through the present value of a lump sum cash flow. So, with this, the present value, what does it mean? Present value refers to the present worth of future cash flows from an investment when discounted using an appropriate discount rate so the for the present value for me is going to be present value is equal to future value divided by uh, brackets one plus r to the power n it will be a reverse of this probably after you uh, cross multiplying so learning to this so my one out of one plus r to the power n is going to be my discount factor and the r is going to be the what the discount rate i told you when we are determining the present value we look at things that are being discounted when you want to find the present value we discount so after you knowing that we're having example two here the saying nick has been promised a total sum of 50 million to be received after three years from now after com completion of his studies so he has also been offered an alternative of receiving 25, 25 million today if he so wishes. So, if the current if the current interest rate is 15% per annum, divide is Nick on the best option to go for. Now, here you only need you only need to pick out the what the vital information. That is, this is going to be your future value, and uh, what's your rate? Your rate is what 15%, and for rate. You have to subject it with this percentage so 15 percent divided by 100 which is going to give you 0 0.115 so after me knowing this i substitute in my formula which is pv is equal to present value uh, i mean my pv my present value is equal to to future value divided by one plus r brackets power n so after me knowing that present value is equal to uh the 50 million divided by uh the one plus 0 0.1 0 0.15 to the power 3 so i substitute in by pv is equal to this amount divided by this amount so uh, present value is equal to this figure so after me discounting this will be my figure so what will this mean it will mean that therefore the 50 million in three years the f like him getting the 50 million in three years will be the best option because currently it will be it will be like you'll be having this sum and currently if you have to give him this so you can see that this is bigger than the what the 25 so meaning that going for this option will be the be, will be appropriate best appropriate so what have i done in this formula uh, what I have done, we have discounted the 50 million that Nick was uh, was to receive after three years to a present value of 32 million 873 thousand 109.8 using a discount rate. So that's what we have done here. So moving on, uh, moving on to the concept of uh, simple and compound interest. Now with this, what does simple interest mean? Simple interest, this is the interest and only on the original amount called principal. So this is only and once. So from the for, from the formula, from the formula, simple interest is equal to uh, uh is equal to p times r times t. Now with this, p is the principal and r is the rate. Then uh, t is the hour time. So after knowing that, I go to my example three. So with example three, it's saying, Majo is a money lender who lends his money at nine at nine percent per annum on interest on simple interest. Timo, Timothy wants to borrow one million. How much interest will Timothy pay to Majo if he uses money? If he uses the money for two years. Now I told you only need to pick out the vital information. You get to know your your present value is one million. Your rate is nine 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 nine. 9% your time is 2 years so I say simple interest is equal to p times r uh, times uh, 
t then i substitute in i get my answer as this so therefore timothy will pay uh, one, one, 180,000 as interest to Majo. Now, what if I want to find the total amount that Timothy paid? It will be just a summation. So the total amount that Timothy will pay Majo if he uses the money for two years will be. Now, I'll say my future value will be the principal plus the interest, which is the 1 million, uh, the principal amount which was at present, which is 1 million plus the interest which I've gotten from this. So Timothy will pay a total sum of this amount of 1,180,000 in total. That is in the future of the two, when we come to the two years, this is the amount that Timothy will pay major. So after knowing that, I got to compound interest. What does compound interest mean? This is the interest earned on both the principal and any previous interest arising from the amount left for a given period of time at a given rate so here i'm only going to look at interest is going to be and on the principal and accumulated interest so this is and every year so with this the future value is equal to present value brackets one plus r brackets n so i'll use this formula to determine the compound interest so with this, I already know my future value is your, my FV is future value, PV is my present value, R is my interest rate, and N is the period in years. So, here I'm having an example. I've already extracted out my information. So, for example, for uh, I'm having my present value to as a thousand, then my R at nine nine at nine percent, then my N or at uh, two years. So, me after extracting out the vital information like I've done here, I'm going to say. Future value is equal to present value brackets 1 plus r to the power n, whereby future value is equal to 6,000 brackets 1 plus 0 0.09 brackets uh, to the power 2. So future value is equal to 6,000. I first work out for the brackets, which is 1.09 to the power 2. So my 6,000 is going to be times with 1.1881. So my future value is 7,128.6. So after knowing that, I've, uh, I've now determined the future value, but I told you I'm going to use this formula to determine the compound interest. So from this, I know that future value is equal to the principal plus the interest, but I want to find the compound interest. So I'm going to uh, make I the subject. So I'm going to say compound interest is equal to future value minus the PV. This is the PV here, the present value. So I'm going to say the 7, the 7,128.8 minus the 6,000, which was at present value, this present value is equal to, uh, it's going to give me uh, 1,128.6. So this is going to be my compound interest. And then I'll congruent and say, therefore, compound interest is equal to 1,128.6. One, one, one so alternatively, I can say, I can say this, when I'm define, determining the compound, I can call this amount. I can call this amount and I can call this principal. Yeah, and I'll be good to go. So that when I reach here, I say amount is equal to principal plus interest. And then I do the, uh, the the same steps and then I'll find my compound interest. Now from there, we just have to subscribe, like, and then comment for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.